The Enigmatic Cipher of Lost Memories In a world where the past and present were intertwined in a delicate dance, there existed a mysterious artifact known as the Enigmatic Cipher. This ancient relic held the power to unlock lost memories and reveal the forgotten stories of those who had come before. The enigmatic cipher was a small, intricately carved amulet adorned with cryptic symbols. Its origins were shrouded in mystery, and it was said to have been created by a long-forgotten civilization that had possessed the knowledge of the cosmos. Many had sought the enigmatic cipher throughout the ages, hoping to unlock the secrets of their own past and the history of the world. But the cipher was elusive, and it revealed itself only to those whose hearts were pure and intentions were noble. One day, in a bustling marketplace of a distant city, a humble merchant named Kale discovered the enigmatic cipher hidden within an antique chest. It had been passed down through generations in his family, and he had always regarded it as a beautiful but enigmatic heirloom. As Kale held the cipher in his hands, he felt a strange connection to it, an unexplainable sense of purpose. It was as if the amulet was calling out to him, urging him to unlock its secrets and discover the stories it held. With determination burning in his heart, Kale embarked on a quest to decipher the ancient symbols etched onto the cipher's surface. He sought out scholars, consulted with sages, and scoured ancient texts in search of clues that would unlock its power. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, but Kale's efforts yielded no results. The cipher remained an enigma, its symbols resisting all attempts at interpretation. Doubt began to creep into Kale's mind, and he questioned whether he was truly worthy of the cipher's secrets. One night, as Kale sat beneath a canopy of stars, feeling defeated and disheartened, he was visited by a mysterious figure, a wanderer who seemed to materialize out of the darkness. The wanderer had heard of Kale's quest and offered to help him unlock the cipher's secrets. With a sense of hope rekindled, Kale and the wanderer embarked on a journey of discovery. They traveled to ancient ruins, consulted with reclusive scholars, and delved into the lore of forgotten civilizations. Along the way, they encountered challenges and dangers, but their determination never wavered. As their knowledge and understanding grew, the symbols on the enigmatic cipher began to reveal their true meanings. Each symbol held a fragment of a memory, a piece of a story from the distant past. It was as if the cipher was a key that unlocked the doors to the memories of those who had held it before. Kale and the Wanderer uncovered tales of love and loss, triumph and tragedy, and the enduring resilience of the human spirit. They learned of forgotten heroes and untold histories, and their hearts swelled with the weight of the memories they had unlocked. In the end, as Kale held the fully deciphered enigmatic cipher in his hands, he realized that the true power of the artifact lay not in its ability to unlock memories, but in its capacity to connect people across time and space. It was a reminder that the stories of the past were a part of the tapestry of humanity, and that every individual, no matter how humble, played a role in shaping the world's history. And so, the legend of Kale and the enigmatic cipher of lost memories lived on, whispered among those who sought to uncover the mysteries of the past. 
The cipher remained a symbol of the enduring power of memory and the unbreakable bonds that connected people through the ages, a testament to the richness of human history waiting to be rediscovered and cherished. Riddles of the Celestial Sphinx In the heart of a forgotten desert, beneath a sky ablaze with the brilliance of distant stars, there stood a colossal monument known as the Celestial Sphinx. Carved from the living rock by an ancient civilization, this enigmatic statue was a testament to the wisdom and mystery of the ages. The Celestial Sphinx was unlike any other sphinx in the world. Instead of a lion's body, it possessed the form of a celestial being its limbs adorned with feathers of shimmering stardust. Its eyes, radiant and all-knowing, seemed to hold the secrets of the cosmos itself. For centuries, the celestial sphinx had stood as a guardian of the desert, and it was said to possess a profound knowledge of the universe. But it was not a passive guardian, it challenged those who sought its wisdom with a series of riddles that were as perplexing as the stars in the night sky. Many had come to the celestial sphinx in search of answers to the universe's greatest mysteries. Scholars, sages, and wanderers from distant lands had tested their wits against its riddles, but few had succeeded in unlocking its secrets. One night, a wanderer named Ellen arrived at the base of the Celestial Sphinx. She had heard whispers of its riddles and was drawn to the desert by an insatiable curiosity. Ellen had a reputation as a clever and resourceful thinker, and she believed she might be the one to solve the Sphinx's enigmas. Standing before the monumental statue, Ellen looked into the Sphinx's eyes and spoke, I seek your wisdom, O celestial Sphinx. Pose your riddles, and I shall do my best to unravel them. The Sphinx's voice echoed through the desert night, its words imbued with cosmic resonance. I am the beginning of eternity, the end of time and space. I am the alpha of all yet I have no beginning. What am I? Ellen pondered the riddle for hours, her mind racing through the vast expanse of knowledge she had accumulated over the years. Finally, as the first rays of dawn illuminated the desert, she whispered her answer, You are the letter E. The Sphinx's eyes sparkled with approval. Correct, Wanderer. But the path to enlightenment is not so easily traversed. Here is your next riddle. I have keys, but open no locks. I have space, but no room. You can enter, but you can't go inside. What am I? Ellen furrowed her brow, considering the riddle's words carefully. She visualized the concept presented and, after a long silence, replied confidently, you are a keyboard. Once again, the Sphinx's eyes gleamed with approval, and it posed yet another riddle, each more intricate than the last. Ellen faced them all with unwavering determination, drawing upon her knowledge of language, mathematics, and the mysteries of the cosmos. As the days turned into weeks, Ellen's understanding of the universe deepened, and her connection with the celestial sphinx grew stronger. She realized that the riddles were not just a test of wit, but a journey of self-discovery, a path to unlocking the secrets of the universe within herself. Finally, after many riddles and much contemplation, Ellen stood before the sphinx, having correctly answered its final enigma. The Sphinx nodded in approval and spoke, You have proven yourself, Wanderer. 
You have unlocked the riddles of the celestial sphinx and revealed the wisdom hidden within. Carry this knowledge with you and share it with the world. With a sense of fulfillment and newfound wisdom, Ellen departed from the desert, leaving behind the celestial sphinx, a sentinel of the cosmos, and a testament to the endless mysteries that awaited those who dared to seek them. And so, the legend of Alan and the riddles of the celestial sphinx lived on, whispered among those who sought enlightenment and understanding. The sphinx continued to guard its secrets beneath the starry desert sky, waiting for the next intrepid wanderer to arrive and embark on the journey of unraveling the riddles of the cosmos. Labyrinth of Shadows and Light In a realm where day and night intertwined in a delicate dance, there existed a place known as the Labyrinth of Shadows and Light. This mystical labyrinth was a testament to the dual nature of existence, where shadows and light coexisted in perfect harmony. The labyrinth of shadows and light was a place of wonder and mystery, where the very essence of existence was explored and celebrated. It was a sprawling maze with walls that shimmered like moonlight and cast shadows that seemed to dance with a life of their own. Within the labyrinth, there lived a solitary wanderer known to none by name. This enigmatic figure had spent a lifetime navigating the labyrinth's twisting passages, seeking to understand the delicate balance between light and shadow. The wanderer was neither fully in the light nor entirely within the shadows. They walked the fine line between the two, guided by an unquenchable curiosity about the mysteries of existence. Each day, they explored the labyrinth, discovering new chambers and hidden passages that revealed the secrets of the realm. One day, deep within the labyrinth, the wanderer encountered a sentient shadow, a being born from the depths of darkness. It was not a creature of malevolence, but a creature of introspection and contemplation. The sentient shadow spoke in hushed tones, its voice a whisper in the void. Wanderer of the labyrinth, you seek the truths of existence, do you not? The wanderer nodded, intrigued by the shadow's words. I do. I seek to understand the delicate balance between light and shadow, life and death. The sentient shadow extended a shadowy hand, inviting the wanderer to touch it. As the wanderer's hand made contact with the shadow, they experienced a profound sensation, a merging of their essence with the shadows. They felt the ebb and flow of existence, the intertwining of light and darkness, as if they were one with the universe. The sentient shadow spoke again, its voice resonating within the wanderer's mind. You have touched the heart of existence, wanderer. You are now a guardian of the labyrinth of shadows and light, tasked with preserving the balance of this realm. With newfound purpose, the wanderer continued to explore the labyrinth, now with a deeper understanding of their role as a guardian. They encountered other sentient shadows, each possessing unique insights into the mysteries of existence. As the wanderer delved deeper into the labyrinth's depths, they discovered a chamber bathed in a radiant, ethereal light. In the center of this chamber stood a mirror that reflected not their physical form, but their inner essence. In the mirror, the wanderer saw themselves as a being of both shadow and light, a symbol of the delicate balance they had come to embody. They realized that the labyrinth of shadows and light was a reflection of their own journey, a journey of self-discovery and enlightenment. 
And so, the legend of the wanderer and the labyrinth of shadows and light lived on, whispered among those who sought to understand the profound mysteries of existence. The labyrinth continued to stand as a testament to the eternal dance between light and shadow, a place where seekers could explore the depths of their own souls and discover the beauty of balance in all things.